Hey Bear, look! A book! Would you like to read it together? Me too. Oh, do you think we could share it with all of our listeners too? Great. Would you mind helping to hold it for me? This book is called One Word from Sophia, and it's by Jim Averbeck and Yasmin Ishmael. Let's have a look together. Sophia's birthday was coming up, and she had five things on her mind. One true desire, and four problems. Her one true desire was to get a pet giraffe for her birthday. The four problems were, one, mother, who was a judge. Two, father who was a businessman. Three, Uncle Conrad, who was a politician. And four, Grandmama, who was very, very strict. <laughs> Sophia presented her case to Mother. I would like a giraffe, she said, because they burn less gasoline, so they meet federal regulations better than the cars we use now. In the last 50 years, no giraffes have been recalled for defective parts, and newer models have a particularly strong safety record. Also, giraffes have not been shown to be the cause of any major diseases. Giraffes are legal in all 50 states. And a giraffe could take me to ballet class and deliver me right to the second floor. What do you think? Is her mom going to be... Uh... Is she going to be cool with this idea? Sophia's argument was accompanied by a compelling slideshow that included a map of, a, of the walk to class. I'm sorry, said her mother in her decision, but I will have to rule against a giraffe at this time. You provided no proof that you are ready for pet ownership and failed to cite the laws about minors driving quadrupeds. And your argument was too verbose. Verbose? asked Sophia. What's that mean? Too many words, said Mother. Well, how many should I use? Fewer, said Mother. And she retired to her chambers. So, Sophia used fewer words with Father. Do you think it'll work this time? Will she convince him? Giraffe, said Sophia are a good source of manure, which can be sold at a profit to garden centers and activists. In short, people will pay me for poop. Her proposal was accompanied by a compelling graph showing how much money she would make. I'm sorry, said Father, but your business plan is unsound. You failed to count the cost of care and feeding for your manure producer, not to mention the warehousing of poop. And your presentation was far too effusive. Effusive? asked Sophia. What's that mean? You have any idea, Bear? Not sure? Too many words, said Father. <clears throat> How many words should I use? Fewer, said Father. And he got back to his conference call. Sophia polled the other members of the household. and presented the results to Uncle Conrad. Four out of five respondents are in favor of giraffes, she said. The results were accompanied by a compelling pie chart. I wonder if Uncle Conrad will be convinced of her plan. I'm sorry, said Uncle Conrad, but your results indicate that being in favor of giraffe ownership would cost me support from the Pony American community. And besides, your report was far too loquacious. Sophia didn't even need to ask what loquacious meant. Too many words. Finally, she approached Grandmama. She accompanied her plea with a compelling foot rub. 
Wonder if that will win her over. <sighs> Giraffe? No, said Grandmama. And do try to get to the point next time. In a last desperate attempt before her birthday, Sophia prepared to speak to everyone at once. She revised and shortened her proposal until it was just one word. What do you think that one word is going to be? Can you guess? Please? The proposal was accompanied by a particularly compelling pair of eyes. I see her eyes are watering up with tears. On her birthday, Sophia was delighted to find that short and sweet often brings results. One word really worked, she said. And two words came in handy as well. What do you think those two words might be? What would you say to your family after they did something really, really special for you? Thank you. Thank you. And in the end, you can see Sophia and her new pal giraffe off on adventure. And that's One Word from Sophia by Jim Averbach and Yasmin Ishmael. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for helping me read today, Bear.